that's kind of uh, the way I am, I guess. Constantly thinking about new stuff to make and how to do it and how to do it better and uh, how to be creative. You know, being in a band is a lot of fun because you just don't you don't think about just you don't just think about the music. You can think about the way you are on stage, the, the things you say on stage, the the way your artwork looks and the way your videos look and what you do with the videos and stuff. So, and you can be in studio for a long time. You can be on tour for a long time. So it's, you know, in the studio, it's very antisocial and on tour, it's very social. So you have all the things in life that I like just in one uh, thing called a band. So yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff to boil about, I guess. Yeah. No, I don't know. It's uh, it's it's hard to explain how it works in my head. I guess um, it's not like that. I wake up in the morning and I have a thousand ideas. I, usually, it's just when I'm. Um, it could be anywhere, taking a shower or when I'm just on the street and I see something, and it triggers a certain idea with me. It's just, and I write it down, put it in my phone, or when I hear a. It could be any song. It could be a Rihanna song or a or Elvis song, it doesn't really matter. And there's always something in there that I find interesting. And then I write it down or I use uh, Shazam, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just uh, Shazam the song and uh, and at a certain point I have a list of songs that I find interesting in a sort of way. And it could be a really, it can be a, like a really small thing in a song, uh, like the way someone sings or a certain sound or a rhythm or whatever. And then, uh, you know, when I'm back in the studio, I just look at my list and think, oh, yeah, that's right. That's a cool rhythm. Let's start with that and maybe combine it with the other idea I got from that. And, and that's kind of how it works. It's not like I wake up and I have a thousand ideas and let's go to work. It's just it, you collect ideas over, the, over time. And sometimes I just sit in the studio and just start doing something. And usually that triggers something. And... But most of the time it's all shit, uh, but some sometime it's a uh, it gets really good, and that's the thing you release, you know. And the same thing with video. Yeah. I um the first album, Wait to Revolution, is uh it's an album I made by myself, and um, that's just something I wanted to do. And it got pretty, I got pretty excited about it, and I thought, well, I should release this and um, get a band together and play it live, because it's, it, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense just to make an album and release it, because no one will hear it, no one will buy it, because you're not a band, you know, if you're not live, you're nothing. Mm -hmm. So. No, well, it, it yeah, I think I could do it, but it uh, it's not the music I want to make, you know? Because mm. the record sounds like a band, but it's just me. Because that's what I liked at that time, you know? I wanted it to sound like it, it was a band, so... That was fun to me, to do it that way, so... I had to have a band. And the guys, uh, you know, we are now the start, we're now five people. Um, and... Like four, uh, three of the five... Uh, I knew for a long time from high school or even earlier. So it was just a, an easy thing to do, get the guys together and start playing and it, it went uh, great. Um, it, it, it was, I don't know if it was a trigger, but it was a, it helped. You know, they asked us to come along and do the support tour in, uh, in uh, the UK. And we were just at the mo at the beginning of playing a lot, and we played little bars to little clubs in Holland, and then we got the chance to come with them. So that's a big learning experience because suddenly we were in front of 1,500 people in the UK, and we have never, at that point, we'd never played in front of so many people, uh, let alone in the UK. So. Um, 
yeah it, uh, it it teaches us a lot you know we had to get on stage quickly play for half an hour and get off stage quickly you know you you tend to get very professional if you surrounded by a lot of professional people so it helped us i'm not sure if it i'm not sure if it uh i don't know how much it helped but it's definitely one of the things i'm uh, grateful for and it was a lot of fun woke up this morning went back to sleep cuz no one's waiting got no promises to keep yeah sure yeah it helped everything helps yeah it's all the, it's all the little things together you know it's not just one thing, like you can be in a TV show and that's good, but if you're just in a TV show, it doesn't, it doesn't do a lot, you know? So you have to do the TV show, you get, you get to do the support act with Deus, you get to play a lot of small festivals, and at a certain point, if you're good enough and you're consistent in quality, I guess, you, uh, people start to remember you and come back. Yeah, well, the idea uh, behind Witch Doctor is kind of, uh, the song is kind of about, you know, I am, in the video, I'm kind of a demagogue. I'm a, I am the the one guy who um, uses his influence to influence a great amount of people, you know. Um, so it's fun to kind of play with... Um, you know the, the the things you see in North Korea or uh, in the in religious circles where everyone looks kind of the same and acts the same and that's that's beautiful at the uh, uh, that's beautiful on one side and terrifying at the other mm -hmm. at the other hand so um, I, I thought about Muslims uh, yeah uh, um, yeah yeah there's there's the Muslim uh, Sufi uh, circle Sufi, yeah. and you have in uh, they were very much inspired by that and. Um, and the uh, in Indonesia you have um, oh, I forgot the name the certain dance where all, oh, a lot of Indonesians sit in a circle and but they sit and they do the same movements um, and and uh, and the 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 big um, events that happen in North Korea where like thousands of children do exactly the same thing at the same time. Um, yeah, I think that's beautiful and also scary at the same time. So, yeah. so that's fun. It was fun to use, and then in the context of the song, yeah, I'm really happy with the video. I think it's a great video. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I when we made the video, I did not uh, think about doing this in in a live way because I didn't think that would be possible. You know, people would be. I don't think. We, we never considered doing it in real time because it would be too difficult. But now we made the video with the, um, with the uh, CGI stuff. Um, people know the video, so when I stand in the middle of the audience, people just act like the video. It's amazing. Uh -huh. I didn't expect that to happen, but I just thought when we started touring again, well, let's see what happens, you know, if I stand in the audience and... Let's see what happens, and it happened, mm -hmm. and it's it's still happening, and it's getting crazier and crazier, like all around the world. We've been playing, of course, in the Netherlands, but now in Belgium and Germany, and now in France and uh, and in London, and uh, everywhere they understand, they know what to do, and it's mm -hmm. it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. you got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, it's, it's about a lot of things at the same time because oh is it's a circle and a circle means so much. So it's kind of a difficult and easy title at the same time, I guess. But um, it was the only logical title for me because we recorded the album in a circle, um, looking at each other. Um, I noticed a lot of songs were about um, things that go in circles, cycles. Um, about time, things repeating itself, um, and at the same time, I wanted to make an album that was clear and not full with a lot of stuff. So clear, empty, and thick. And you know what's better? There's nothing, not a lot, not a lot of symbols better than just a circle 
in the middle and uh just blue and white and that's it you know so it's a i think it's a cool statement yeah dance with you Okay. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, that's funny you say that because I really didn't think about it a lot anymore, but it's a that's a video I made myself and um it kind of looks like both like Pep Talk and the Witch Doctor in a way because also the circle and um but yeah, I guess I just like that, you know, people dancing weird and not caring about anyone else. I just like that. And um it's fun to watch. So let's do it some more, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely one of the... Basically, Life is a Game is kind of an old song. It's just something I, I always wanted to do, like a really fast, punky rhythm. Because um, we never do that. Cause so I thought, let's try that and just do something that's... Uh, it's kind of it's based on a Hot Snakes uh, song. You know the band Hot Snakes? Um, no. No, I don't, I don't think, I think they're very famous. But uh, they don't exist anymore. But... Um, just one, this is a punk band, but they uh, have one song that I just get a lot of energy from. So I thought, let's make one of those, like one of those hyped up songs where you you think just it sounds crazy and too fast and too too much of everything. So it's kind of the weird song of the album. I know that, but it's um, um, it's just so much fun to do. So <laughs> and the title is kind of like you know, I imagine a guy just going mental and just having fun but too much fun and um, sometimes I just look look at life that way you know it's all a game it doesn't really matter no. no it doesn't it doesn't make a lot of sense but it's not it's nice to get something you know if you're nominated for something, I, you know, if, if I'm nominated for something, I'd li I like to win it. But it doesn't mean anything because music is not really measurable. Uh, only in the sense that, you know, if something is bought a lot or a lot of people listen to it, it's like, okay, I guess it must be good in a way that people like to listen to it. So that's the only measurement, I guess. But, um, you know, it's always it's always nice to get a compliment so i won't say no to that but it's uh you know if one band wins and the other one is not best rock or whatever it doesn't mean anything but it's uh you know all those things all those big award shows they're all mostly there to promote the the either the radio station or the tv show you know they get a lot of people watching them because there are a lot of famous bands or whatever and also to promote the band, so it's kind of like a, it's just a very vain thing, it's all about vanity, it's not a, it's not much more than that, but it's fun, it's just fun to be there, it's just so ridiculous, um, but it's okay, you know, I, I never say no to a prize. Yeah, yeah, um, you know, we have had a couple of songs in video games, and it's just a cool way, I guess, because video games are huge, you know, a lot of people play them, and um, it's just a cool way to be in somebody's life, I guess, if someone's playing a football game the whole, throughout the day, and they hear your song, and they, they get a certain energy from it, I guess that's cool, it's, it doesn't, it, it's for me, it's like the same when someone's writing his car or his bike and listening to your music you know it's just it's cool if music has uh, can add can add something to an experience you know there are not a lot of people who just sit on a couch and listen to music anymore everyone everyone is doing something and listening to music so um, if it works it works it's fine it's also a, it's a small way to make a little bit of money sometimes yeah. although it, there's there's not a lot of money there's not a lot of money in it, but it's um, but it's cool. I like it because I like the art form. I like video games. I like television. I like movies. So if we if we can com combine our music with another art form, it's cool.
the different I always try to think when I'm writing new stuff and when we're recording stuff I always try to imagine what it's like to see it live because the live aspect is such a big part of music and our music so always when we're playing live I'm thinking about what would be cool to have in our repertoire you know what kind of song we still need um, so to me it's always linked because if you start just making music because it sounds cool or um, that's also fun but it's then it doesn't work live anymore and the other way around is kind of the same thing um, so it's it has a lot to do with each other for me anyway because you know that's how we get around we play live that's that's the that's the main source of income anyway so um, you want to make sure that it's good life, so you want to make a record that will work live. Maybe some songs don't work live, which is fine. You don't play them live, but uh, yeah, I like uh, I like that way of thinking anyway, because that's the only way to think. When I when I record music, I'm thinking, what would it be like if I'm in my car and listening to it? What would I feel if I would hear hear this for the first time? But also, what would I feel if I saw this? live on the stage and what would it look like and that's the way i think about making music always imagining myself being there as an art as a part of the audience <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of quiet now on the, on the ghost notes uh, thing. I th I started it because I thought it would be fun to um I uh, just put stuff on there that I made and I'm not not going to put it on a record or something but just for fun. That was the idea but it's it's now b so busy with the start and stuff and I I'm not keeping it up to date but it's still there. You can still listen to it. Well, buy our album. Make us rich. <laughs>